let's do our tables. The two times table. You solved your first ever multiplication problem by counting groups of a number. Each problem takes some time and it's easy to make a mistake. Whoops! Then you discovered the multiplication chart. This gets you working much smarter and now you are amazing at solving problems using a multiplication chart. And you can become next level smart if you don't rely on counting groups of a number or on using a multiplication chart to solve all your problems. If you learn your tables by heart, you will work faster, be more accurate and gain lots of confidence. Great stuff! We can count by twos, so we start with the two times table. Say it with me. One two is two. Two twos are four. Three twos are six. Four twos are eight. Five twos are ten. Six twos are twelve. Seven twos are fourteen. Eight twos are sixteen. Nine twos are eighteen. Ten twos are twenty. Eleven twos are twenty-two. Twelve twos are twenty-four. Ten times anything is easy, and it sounds easy if you say it like me. After ten, there's only two left. You can do this. Now, here's how we can get the two times table into memory. First, we see it and say it. Next, I want you to write out the two times table for yourself in your math book. Please don't use loose paper because there's a good chance that that will get lost. A single column like this is best in your math book. Try and line it up as neatly as you can. Writing it for yourself is way better than looking at a photocopied sheet. You're going to learn it much faster because you actually wrote it for yourself. Then you're going to practice reading it out loud till you know it. And soon you'll be able to say it without even looking. And then you get to the fun part. You're going to quiz your friends. <laughs> it should be a random order, quick fire quiz. If your friend said five twos, you'd answer ten. First your friend asks the questions, then it's your turn. And remember, always keep it random. My goal here is that when you hear a problem, the answer just goes out of your mouth in a reflex action. Then you know your two times table. When we learn our tables, we start with the numbers we can skip count because this helps us build lots of confidence. We've done the twos. Next time, it's the five times table. <laughs>